You want me to do a fiery kick? Nah, I think I'll leave that out this time. All right, it has been, oh, I think like, what, 10 months or something since I purchased the woodshed or since I purchased this building and turned it into the woodshed. There is still a lot of progress that I need to make, but there's also been a lot of progress that I have made. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a shop tour and show you everything that's been happening. Come on inside. So there's still a ton on the to-do list, but come on in. Eventually, uh, this will be part of the retail section so that whenever you enter in, this is gonna be the first thing that you see. Um, then you're gonna be stepping into the larger retail section. So that used to be an office, and then this used to be, the whole building used to be an auction house that I'm turning this section into the retail space, and then the next section I'll show you into the production shop space. So kind of like my idea for this is you'll be able to come in and actually purchase items that I'm making or my team is making and anything kind of woodworking related. In here, I'm gonna be having slabs and products and furniture, live edge and other, other assortments. And also I think it'd be fun in the future to have like maybe, maybe maker meetups in this space. So still fleshing out all of the ideas on what to do. As you can see, I have all of the tree rings hung up, which was a major accomplishment and a very complex project. If you haven't seen it, then check out that video on it. And of course, all of the renovation in here is also a standalone video. If you wanna see how we took this metal building and turned it into what you're currently seeing. The shiplap siding is custom made on the CNC. And I did it that way in order to save cost and also time on throwing it up as it's one giant panel of plywood rather than individual boards of shiplap. Over here, you're gonna see the shipping department. My mother is in there diligently working away as she always is shipping out the products that I sell on my website. So my mom handles everything that you guys purchase from my website and ships it out. Mama, say hi. <laughs> she steals my wave. Um, then over here, um, as you can see, the guys are busy putting uh, together the slabs or put, putting the slabs up. I purchased all of these slabs from Canadian Woodworks up in Canada, Paul. So I got a lot of walnut and maple because I don't have access to those species here and ash. But in the future, I do have my bandsaw mills in the back that I'm gonna be able to mill up all the pecan, mesquite, and hickory, cedar elm, a whole bunch of species that I do have locally. If you're interested in slabs, feel free to stop in. Again, this is all gonna be a work in progress. I am gonna be selling uh, dis um, equipment as well. So I'm gonna be selling Logosol and Shaper, Isotunes and a few other things. So if you're ever in Central Texas and wanna put your hands on some of this unique woodworking equipment, then you'd be able to come in and see it done. So let's go over to the actual production shop where I get to show you the really exciting stuff. All right, here is the production shop, the, the meat and potatoes of this building and the real reason I wanted to purchase it. Y'all remember I built my own 4,000 square foot shop and whenever I built it that large, it wasn't because I dreamed of building um, a, a, a team up, but I ended up building up a team and they've been working out of my shop in the meantime. And so the way I kind of envisioned this space is for to give them a zone to work in and then for me to have my shop back to as my personal shop. So this is gonna be the shop where Jacob and the rest of the team will be working out of whenever something is needed. Um, again, a work in progress, but so much has already been made. Um, let me start, I guess, with the layout of how things are situated. Here, we have the bay door here that we left so that, and then a pathway so that a trailer could be backed up and into this space loaded down with material. Because in the future, this entire wall is gonna be nothing but material storage. Right now I do have my plasma table and a few odds and ends just kind of stored over here, but all of this will get handled once this turns into material. Then we're gonna have a mobile miter saw so that this could be moved anywhere, but then the material will come off, go to the miter saw, get chopped down, and then immediately it can flow over into the processing system, which is gonna start with the jointer and planer and then move over to the table saw and then maybe even the CNC. Probably the first thing you'll notice right off the bat is all of the Grizzly equipment. I am so proud and thankful, humbled all of the nice words to be partnering with Grizzly for my woodshed shop. And you guys get to benefit as well. Grizzly has been so gracious to give me a 10% discount code to give to you guys off all of the machinery that I have. There's a link for you down below. So if you need anything for your shop, then be sure to use my coupon code as it will save you 10%. 
And also a big thank you to Grizzly for believing in what I'm doing and supporting my brand. All right, let me show you the tools because I imagine that's what you want to see. So this is a 16 inch jointer. We call it a, what, what did we name this, Jake? Nimitz. The Nimitz. 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 Aircraft carrier. It's an aircraft carrier. I just say it's an aircraft carrier, but he's named it Nimitz. Um, so 16 inches, uh, of course, I, I went large with the equipment because I do plan on processing a lot of slabs. Milling them in the backyard, turning them into slabs and drying them, then being able to, to go right into processing them. So to not have limiting capacities is just gonna be so amazing. So 16 inch joiner, then we go right into 24 inch planer. Ugh, this is gonna be a dream. And then of course you'll notice that none of these have dust collection set up to them yet, but all of them do have uh, ports that we're eventually gonna run over to the dust collection system. I say we, actually Jacob. Jacob is the one who has put together all of the equipment. It's really not my forte to do the fine tuning and assembly and layout of the shop. So this has all been Jacob. In fact, I'll show you the model that he put together from the very beginning to where we've been having tons of correspondence throughout the entire 10 months on where things should go so that once the equipment showed up, we can put them right in their spot and not have to continuously move the things around. Hey, y'all wanna meet Jacob? Jacob, say hi to the people. Hi, people. I don't even have a name for what Jacob is. He's like my right hand man. He's my lead shop. He's my, I broke it, please fix it so I could just build something. He, uh, he put together the dust collection last night and yeah, he's gonna be the one actually doing all of the dust collection and the, and the fine detail work while I'm in my shop doing the videos that you guys see. So great job, Jacob. Moving on to the table saw. So, oh my goodness, this is a massive table saw and it's a sliding table saw. Again, this is gonna be huge for uh, processing plywood. You're able to throw an entire big sheet here. And then instead of moving the uh, material through the blade, you then move the wing through the blade so that the material stays stationary. This is gonna be great for big sheet good as well as slabs. Then moving back here, we have some workstations set up. Um, we are gonna have more set up over there, but right now these main two are set up with coarse power. And then it's worth noting that all of the uh, power equipment is hardwired in. Everything is three phase, and I'll tell you this much, it was nine months to get three phase power into here. And it was, it was a very long and difficult and just exhausting process, but it feels good to finally have it done. And that's actually with the delay on the shop opening up is getting power in here. Of course, I've talked about the dust collection. That thing is not gonna have any problem sucking up all of the, the dust from these machines. You'll see that I have a 24 inch bandsaw as well as a 17 inch bandsaw. I have a, a few different uh, uh, sanders, a disc sander, which is one of my favorites, and then an oscillating edge sander, which is gonna be very useful. Two drill presses, this one I used for uh, metal equipment, and then this one is just a floor model, which actually, I've never had a floor model before, so this is gonna be a really great addition. All of the odds and ends you see as far as cabinetry and storage, just, this is kind of a, a work in progress, as everything is, as I've been saying, but this definitely, the space is AC'd um, and heated, which is really nice. But then of course on great, beautiful Texas days, we can just open up the bay door and enjoy the sunlight. So all of this is left open as a, not only a main walkway, but also having a forklift to get material. Because while this is the main uh, shop area, the CNC portion of the shop is at the back. So just thinking about how to get slabs from the retail space or milling them in the backyard all the way to the CNC and then maybe to this area for processing. And that's really where mobile workbenches come into play. You'll see me utilize these a ton, but then also with multiple people now in the shop, I just have to rethink the workflow of things. So being able to stage things on a workbench and constantly move it from section to section, and then whenever it's not being used or waiting on the next process, it being stored against this whiteboard where somebody could label it until somebody maybe at the CNC or the table saw is uh, ready for it and can move it over to then their workstation. So lots of mobile carts, of course, room to move, communication setups, and then storage. Like this is just a temporary uh, dose of what we're gonna do, but eventually there's gonna be racks all along the top for long-term storage. Hmm. Oh, it's a lot, it's exciting. Okay, and then coming back this way, 
I kind of envision this right now to be hardware storage. I've been utilizing the smart jar system, which is really good, but this might end up moving into more multiple sections because all of this wall is just room to grow in the future. This is kind of like the CNC bay of the whole shop. Right now we have two four by eight shop bots that are actually just got up and running, thank goodness. And so now the next step is to get the Laguna over here and have all three over here freeing up my shop and then also just having everything in one location to where when the shipping department needs something, she can holler at the CNC, CNC will make it go right to shipping. And then right now they're having to transport it from my shop to here and it's just kind of a mess. Well, it's not a mess, but there's room for, for growth there. So this is very exciting. Over here later on is gonna be a material rack that goes all the way up to the ceiling. And then this smaller rack will also get replaced because of course with CNC's that can process so much material quickly, a lot of sheet good material is just needed. So again, mobile carts everywhere. With the shop so large, you'll see skateboards, you'll see mobile carts, and it's just a way to easily transport material. Let's go check out the very last room. This room used to be the attached apartments where the owners of the place actually lived on site. Well, I don't need to live on site. And so I turned this into kind of an employee break room and it definitely needs, <laughs> definitely needs some lights and a few other things. But in the meantime, this has been working great for us to stage offices and work on our laptops for um, us to eat lunch, for us to throw a party after we've completed a really hard project and whatnot. But yeah, you'll, you'll see that this room will grow eventually as well, because I plan on, of course, bringing you guys along for everything. I think, let me show you the backyard really quickly, where I have the, of course, the amazing deck build. And I think that will pretty much wrap up this tour. 2020 has been such a crazy year and such a drastic change, not only buying a place and putting all the effort it's taken to get it even this far, but also just growing a team of people, going from a one woman team to, I think four people now, videographer Jake and a woodshed manager. Just, um, it's been a, a wonderful year. Uh, and you can see them moving around in the background. Backyard, <laughs> another another place that is a work in progress. But man, I mean, seeing, it, seeing what it was before guys, I've put in so much effort already. Of course, the amazing treehouse deck. Oh, it's spectacular. I still have the railing to do on it, but then eventually I'm thinking of doing maker meetups here. And how fun will it be to eventually be able to have like a, a small band maybe up there and then all of us mixing and mingling down here and maybe doing tool swaps and just talking about projects, having the bandsaw mills running. You'll see that my bandsaw mill is over there and we just gathered up a lot of pecan and uh, some uh, heritage oak actually. So a lot of really big fun plans and a lot of hard work. It might sound cheesy, but if you're willing to put in the hard work into any direction you wanna go in, you can achieve it. Even though there is a still a, a lot of hard work in order to go in order to get this place where I see it, it is so fulfilling seeing where it's at right now. And I absolutely love bringing you guys along for it. So thank you for supporting me and coming along for the ride. I can't wait to actually have my doors open and see you guys here on a regular basis, hopefully, or whenever you're stopping in on a Texas vacation. Hope that you enjoyed the shop tour. Again, don't forget that Grizzly has a 10% coupon code if you want to uh, buy the Grizzly equipment. That's uh, I'll link for you down in the description. I will see you on my next video, guys. If you're a maker and want to support a company that is trying to put a stop to the disposable mindset that adds to so much waste, then check out this video's sponsor, which is iFixit. They're a company that empowers people to fix things instead of throwing them away and adding to the landfill. iFixit makes specialized driver and bit sets, and they have become my biggest recommendation for a gift this holiday season. They're not only made with high quality steel and come with a lifetime guarantee, but they're also so organized and well thought out with magnets in the case to keep the lid on, but easy to completely remove, tight fitting foam that holds onto the bits and are labeled with a picture on what each one is, a magnet in the tip of the driver and drivers that can rotate 360. Their Manta driver kit is my new go-to. So if you're looking for an easy win for any tool lover in your life, then I can't recommend picking up a kit enough. 
Head over to ifixit.com slash April Wilkerson to check out all of iFixit's tools. While you're there, also check out their library that, I mean, it's just a massive library on how to fix almost everything you can imagine. If you're looking for some great sawhorse plans, and I have a link for you right here for this one, as well as two other variations. This one's cheap, it's sturdy, it's very quick to put together, and the thing that I like the best is that it's foldable. And it's collapsible.